Hey y'all, I uh, wanted to show my finished penny rug for the um, YPP Primitive Candle Mat Swap. Um, this is my own pattern, um, real simple, nothing you know elaborate. I um, used a dinner plate to get the outer edge and then I made the heart shapes myself. Um, and then these, I don't know if you can see those, this camera's not the greatest. These are the little satin roses from Walmart. Um, then I just tie little bows. Um, I wanted to tell you that um, this is actually wool blend felt, but this is felt from Walmart because the place that I ordered these on eBay, um, if anybody's interested, that, that she had wonderful colors, real, real nice lady, very cooperative. I wanted it quickly. She did it quickly. She switched up some of her um, uh, like lots. She let me pick and add and all that. Anyway, um, this is so much, it's softer, I think, than this, um, but I couldn't get a large piece, so I bought the, you know, the regular felt at Walmart to get, to be able to have the larger piece. But anyway, there is a difference. I mean, you can feel, I think it's, it's definitely thicker and it's softer. Um, but anyway, this one, I went ahead and I put a back on it just because it looks more finished and I, I think it's stitched around the edge. I not mine. I know you're not supposed to, but I did not mine. <clears throat> I couldn't stand not knotting them. Anyways, um, I brought my my Yankee candle out here, one of them, so you could see that it fits in there real nicely. Looks real cute. Um, but anyway, I think it turned out good. I mean, it's the first time I've ever made one, and it wasn't too hard. Um, I don't think anyway it's, and this doesn't take very long I think I'm going to I told Anitra I think I'm gonna put together some of these and um, start carrying them around with me so when I have to like sit and wait getting car fixed or waiting on my kids or whatever I can pull one out work on it and just sell them on eBay because the um, especially the holiday theme ones sell really 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 well and they seem to be very popular so I would imagine if I had stuck this one on there I could probably get maybe between maybe twenty or twenty five dollars which the materials you know is the, the sheets that I bought were I want to say they were a dollar a dollar a piece something like that but anyway you get you know a ton out of one sheet so um, but yeah so that's that's that and then I want to show you this one <clears throat> this one actually um, I was doing a giveaway for anybody that posted their delivery um, confirmations to me on time and I was going to do a drawing and I, I kind of am switching that up because we only had just a few people. It's six including me. Um, I am going to do the drawing but I'm going to give this away to you know whoever's name I pick. But then everyone else is going to get, um, oh and this one I didn't double layer it. It's a single layer and I did blanket stitch around the edge. Um, and it's kind of like the maroon and kind of like a, I guess a plum color. Oh, I thought it turned out really cute. So that's my own pattern. Um, <clears throat> what I did was is I'm going to make little kits up to send for everyone else so they can make one if they want to. If they don't, they can throw it in the garbage or whatever. But, um, I want to show this is the thread that I bought. This is number 10, like crochet cotton, and I really liked working with it. I think I, I tried some with the DMC floss, and I wasn't as crazy about it. I didn't like didn't like the way it looked as much. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that. And it's pretty cheap, um, you know, by the roll at Walmart. They have it in different colors and, and whatnot. They actually have a, have a thicker one, too. Um, I think I, I really like this one. Okay. These are the different ones. Um, we've got kind of an Americana one here. It's got a real dark navy background, and then there's a lighter blue and kind of an off-white and then red. And then this is like a, it's almost like a steel gray. And then, um, an, again, an off-white with the, the maroon. And then this one matches the one that I did, with the exception of this is like a really dark, dark gray background, which I believe I have more black. So if somebody wants this one and they don't want the dark gray, I can cut them a piece of black. <clears throat> and then I've got these two right here, which one has the blue around the outside in the center. And then this one has the red. And these are like the multicolor ones, which I personally... I like the multicolored ones, the ones that don't match, 
for primitive with the especially with the black I love the black thread I tried to sew one um, I tried to sew this one with some different colors and I didn't like it I like the black thread I think um, on everything but anyway so you've got those two so what I'm gonna do is um, Elise and Miss Linda and Roxy and Anitra and Louise <clears throat> Y'all get in touch with me as soon as you see this video and tell me which one of these you would prefer. And um, and I will we'll kind of go from there. Because this is, I have a couple, I have a little bit left. I might be able to duplicate um, some of these. But some of these colors like this, I think, I, I don't know if I have any more of this mustard color. But anyway, um uh, we're waiting on Louise's. She's in England. I sent her a message, so I'm waiting to hear back from her. And then whenever I get everybody's in, I can swap them out. I've got everyone else's. I can swap them out, and we'll do the drawing, and then um, we'll see who gets the kits and who gets the finished one. I would love to hear y'all's comments. Um, like I said, it's the first time <clears throat> I have done this, and um, I think it turned out really well. Let me get a close-up on the thread there. Anyways, um... Love to hear y'all's opinions. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.